Hello Team Virgo, this is Caroline here with your love reading. Welcome back. Welcome if you're new. If you're new, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. The energies can go either way. So if I say Virgo, I could be talking to you, Cross Watcher. Cross Watcher is also welcome, okay? So Virgo, I pulled some cards for you. I pre-shuffled and then we're going to get into the other person. So two energies here. Take whichever person resonates with one deck of cards um, and the other one. So for both of you, I feel like there's a standstill, okay? So there's some kind of a standstill. This person, I'm going to say Virgo, okay? Could be the cross watcher, but this person is um, coming out of feeling stuck in this, um, not in your connection, but I feel like it could be another connection or another situation they're stuck in. Or it could also just be just worrying too much, um, not having hope about this connection. But this has a lot to do with things from the past that this person has been carrying around, okay? So it's like they're finally coming out of, you know, um, not seeing, like being blindfolded. This could be you, Virgo. I'm just going to call it you, okay? So... Virgo, you're coming out of, you know, mental entrapment is what I want to say, of not seeing which way to go, okay? So I feel like both of you are at some type of standstill. For you, I feel this has to do with some type of healing um, that had to be done. And um, you are... you. It's like you kind of took a break. It could be you pulled back your energy from this person because you're like, I need to heal. I need to work on myself. And I, I can't do this anymore. This is, you know, kind of because I feel like um, it's like you were waiting for them or something. You were waiting for some kind of, you know, communication or whatever. And you decided to like just, you know, hold on or hold back or whatever it is, but you're coming out of this standstill. I think that you've made a decision already of what you want to do, and what I'm getting is, is that you want to do what's right, okay? You want to do what's right, because we got, this is um, the justice card, okay? So this is about doing what's right. This is about being fair, okay? And this, for some of you, it's like you're leaving something in the past. You are... Okay, this is what I'm picking up. For some of you, it's like... You want this person, okay? So what you're doing to yourself is you're telling yourself, okay, I'm not going to look at this connection from... A, with the bad stuff that went on in the past, I'm going to leave all that bad in the past. I'm healing myself right now so that I can be ready to um, take this to the next level, okay? That's what I'm feeling. Even some of you might not be talking to this person. It doesn't matter. It's like you are you made the decision already. Like, I want to be with this person and I know that they will come around whenever they, you know, deal with their stuff or take care of whatever they have to care for. I feel like you have trust now and it's because you did the healing. You pulled back. You did the healing that was necessary. This is like the Four of Swords, okay? So it's like you pulled your energy back. You did the healing for yourself and you're like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I can't wait, you know all this time for someone else. Sorry, guys. So yeah, so this is about you healing, you pulling back your energy and doing the healing necessary to kind of like prepare you. I feel like there's some preparation that way um, when it comes to you. So okay, Virgo. Um, and it has to do with it's like you feel like you feel like something is like even though for some of you, you're not really talking to this person, you could be, but you feel something brewing. You feel something like happening. Like it, it could be you, you're getting spiritual activity or whatnot, but there is something happening. Okay. So let's get into the other person. Um, I, 
when I was shuffling, these cards just flew out. I will continue to shuffle for the other person. But let's put this here for now. This other person you're dealing with does have a slow energy. You might be waiting for communication when it comes to this person, okay? So it's like they're moving in slowly. And that's probably what has been um, bothering you when it comes to this person. Because you are, I feel like for some of you, you're waiting for them to get out of the, some situation or something like that and maybe make a commitment to you. And this person is just coming in slow and that's what's annoying you. And for the other people, um, also communication, right? So you're waiting for some type of communication like, hey, when is this gonna happen, right? Um, and you're just waiting. So I feel like um, whoever this is, <laughs> they're coming in slow but at the same time it's like this person too is um making decisions right so i feel like both of you are making decisions i feel like there was a standstill but it's like coming you know it's going to end the standstill you will get communication you will get you know um someone making a decision of what to do um, like I said, I feel like somebody is leaving some sort of past behind them that has been really affecting their stability is what I want to say. Um, yeah, I feel like this person needs to turn their back on something to, in order to take your connection to the next level, Virgo. So there is something yet, yeah, and at the bottom of the card, again, we get the Two of Swords, okay? So you both are coming out of this energy now, and it will happen. You will start communicating with this person is what I feel. Let's see more about this other person, Virgo. This is getting good. I, I really like this. So you have felt in the past like this connection was one-sided. You gave more than the other. And now it's like, um, these are too many cards. I don't want to pick that up. Um, you gave more than the other person. And now it's like you're kind of getting, I'm not, I don't want to say you're getting over that. You're accepting it and you're healing from it. And you're realizing, okay, I'm going to do now what's fair for me. Also, um, for some of you, you're dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. I don't know. I'm getting a lot of things. It doesn't have to be, but yeah. Yeah, this person, okay, yeah. This person could have, you know, hurt you in the past. They are hurt at the same time. Whoever you're dealing with, Virgo, or this could be you. I don't know. I think this is who you're dealing with. It's like they are... They could, they're really hurt. For some of you, I'm getting this person. Okay, you might have blocked this person, Virgo. And it's like they're trying to get back in communicating with you. And they, they're like, they're kind of treading. Like they don't know how to, you know, go about doing that. But this person, whoever we're talking about, has a lot of baggage, okay? Okay. They got so much baggage to release, like these obligations, this um, stuff, and um, this person, it's taking them a while. And I know for some of you, you're losing patience. You have lost patience with this person. Um, there's a full culmination. There's an ending coming of this person releasing all this baggage, right? But I feel like <laughs> what I'm getting is this person is going to go out with a bang. It's not that they're going to go out and nothing's going to happen bad to this person. But what I feel is that. Oh, interesting. Spirit is saying the universe is also. Um, the, the universe is intervening. That's what I want to say. This person has taken so long to release all the stuff, to release you know, the past pain they've been through, the obligations, the, this is very karmic to me, okay, this person has to release this, and, um, it's like, 
since they are not, you know, this, whoever you're dealing with, Virgo, they could be someone who's not very open with their feelings, how they speak to you, how, you know, they feel about you or whatever it is, right? They could not, they, I, it, I'm, it's coming off more like, it's more like they show you than how they, you know, really express to you how they feel, right? So this person, it's like, There's a conversation that needs to be had. You know, I got similar to Taurus reading. I don't know if you're dealing with a Taurus or you're you have Taurus in your sign, um, in your placements. But the thing is, is that this person is taking too long to kind of release this, right? To release all this, and the universe is stepping in and is like, okay, person, whoever you are, you're taking way too long. We got to help you now, okay? So that's what I feel that's happening. It's because they had the chance to do it and they didn't. And it's because this person is, you know, they've been really disappointed in their past. They could have like a very hard past or maybe a hard childhood upbringing, whatever it is. So it's like they've been through a lot. And that's why this person has issues with um, releasing things. They keep, it's not like they hold on to things because they want to. It's just that they feel more comfortable. They don't like change. Whoever this person is, okay, this slow person, okay, I'm gonna, I'm not saying, I'm not throwing this person like down or I'm not putting any shade on this person. This person just slow in a way where like they move slowly. They're stable. Yeah, they got a pinnacle, okay? They're not, they're not messing around is what I want to say, but they're just slow um with their actions okay so it's like virgo you if this is a person and you the, you know you're virgo right this is not you virgos are pretty quick with things okay yeah they are methodical and they're organized or whatever but virgos are like it's like this and i'm gonna do it now they're more like you know this person you're dealing with is more of a slower energy um, with how they act and they don't like change whoever this is it could be a fixed sign they do not like change so it's like the universe had to step in and was like excuse me you're taking way too long to release this okay so some of the, whoever this could be maybe they're having um, some type of um, karmic cycle ending I don't know what their placements are whoever you're dealing with Virgo but it's like there has to be some kind of release this ending there's a cycle closing out is what I'm getting and the universe step steps in and is like excuse me you know this has to crumble down so th this could also be if you're dealing with someone who is stuck in another situation okay whatever it is um, they need they need to break down those walls okay this person is like that's what I'm saying it's like they got too comfortable in that even if they don't like the situation they're in they got too comfortable and they didn't take action towards it like they haven't been for a long time but now I feel like this person is finally gonna be like somewhat of like not having a choice is what I want to say <laughs> spirit is saying okay the universe is definitely stepping in so, yeah, this person is, um, yep, definitely. So do you see how this person is going from a page to a king? Oh, my God. You know what, Virgo? In your last reading, we got the 180, right? The 180 turn of this person. Oh, my. This is like confirmation, double confirmation. Like, it doesn't matter if it's he or she, right? It's go, they're going from a page to a king or from a, what is it? A princess? I don't know. No, does that, is that a princess? Is, would that be equivalent to page or, I don't know. You guys know what I mean. They're like going from like a girl, okay, to a queen or they're going from a page to a king, okay? Take it how it resonates with your situation. Look at that. This person is making progress. This 180 is going to happen. I'm telling you, this is crazy. And I know some of you do not believe it. 
it's like you're excited about it. You don't believe it because you haven't seen it yet. And you might not be in communication with this person, but this person's coming in with communication. Yeah, some of you I see like this person, like you're not talking to them or like you block them or they blocked you. Like something like that, like somehow you're not communicating for some reason, for some of you, not all. But they're, they're definitely turning into a king. And you could have thought this person is like messing around with you. You know, just it's just casual, whatever. But no, I don't see that. I don't see that it's casual. I see that this person now realized, you know, maybe it's, it was in the past for some of you. But now this person realized, hey, like I want to invest in Virgo. Okay. I want to make that serious investment. I mean, I want to get serious. I want, you know, I think this person learned. This is very interesting. Virgo, did you teach this person? I don't know. Like, this person learned, you know, and um, for some of them, they learned the hard way because, like, this person has been hurt a lot. Whoever this is, like, they got a lot on their plate, Virgo. So, I mean, don't blame this person for taking a long time. I know some of you are frustrated. I can feel it. You're like, when are they going to, you know, come around or whatever? Okay. So, yeah. This is what's really holding them back right now, but they're coming into a balance. So this is the moon, okay, and this is temperance. So it's like there's, you know, there's things that are hidden. Um, this is nothing bad is what I'm picking up on. I just feel like there's just emotions that this person has been holding on to for such a long time that need to be released because of past, you know, hurt, disappointment. And I want to tell you all something. If this person hurt you, Virgo, they're also hurting that they hurt you, okay? So it's like maybe in the past you didn't, you know, um, hear that from this person or anything like that, but they really have been hurting. Whether it's like for some of you, I'm picking up for this person um, that you're dealing with, Virgo, it's like they... Um, they're dealing with a lot of past pain and trauma, um, things they've held within that are coming to the surface now, okay? And this is, okay, if this person is away from you, you're not, you know, communicating, whatever. It's like that's being done right now so that you both can come back together. You both can come back together balanced. You see the two cups and the angel, so it requires you to have patience, Virgo. I know you are losing patience. I could totally feel your energy right now. Like, come on, seriously. Like, some of you all, like, gave up hope on this connection because you're just like, it's not going to happen. There's no way. But, like, this is, this is divine intervention to me. This is definitely divine intervention because this person is, like, very fixed in their ways and they've been stuck in this cycle for such a long time. But... This is a coming together after this person deals with this. All these emotional wounds that they've been holding inside of them after like all these disappointments and this is a coming together. This is a coming together. This is two of cups, okay? But what Spirit is saying is you must have patience. Yeah, because it's, look at that, fate. This is karmic. Like I said earlier, this, this is karmic that they're releasing. I feel like for a lot of the people you're dealing with, Virgo, I mean, you know what I mean, Virgo, for the people, the cross watchers, you're going through some type of karmic ending release. Um, this is fate. Okay, fate, F-A-T-E. Um, and it requires you to have faith because you have to have patience when it comes to this. Um, and... Yeah, you know how earlier I was saying you're dealing with a fixed sign? That's funny that this came up. <laughs> you, I'm sure some of you are dealing with a fixed sign. I can feel it. Like this person is very set in their ways and likes comfort and doesn't like change. That's what it is. But change is the name of the game, right? That's when things get better, right? I feel like this person is doesn't like change, but the change that's coming is good. Virgo, 
so if you're not, you know, I just think you know this. I know, I think you spiritually know this. I think you've been getting messages even though you somehow lost hope. It's like you still are know that some sometime it's going to come back together. Even for those who lost hope but there's a time and you thought this person is not giving back what you put in. But I think this is going to turn around, okay? The communication is going to come in. For those of you who are thinking, when is my person going to communicate with me? It is. They're building up the self-confidence to come towards you also. They do have insecurities that they're working on, which has to do with the fears. And that's why we got the moon, okay? This is fears. This is emotional wounds and fears this person is working on right now, okay? Balancing that out. Um... I'm getting so emotional imbalance for this person. Um, yeah, I feel like some of you are dealing, Virgo, with someone who has a lot of um, um, fears, is what I want to say. A lot of fears affecting this person. And that's why now they're not taking action because they need to build up this momentum, this um, confidence, okay, to come towards you. Um, ready because I'm, I'm still picking up Virgo I know you guys like I know you well okay for some of you you told this person hey if you're not gonna come back like ABC just stay away from me this person knows you mean business Virgo <laughs> that's what I'm getting okay I love this this is funny um, you meant business and they know you mean business so it's like they're trying to build up themselves to come towards you and that's why i'm saying like and that's why they're they're this right now so if you think what i'm picking up for some of you is that you think this person is not talking to you and they might be with someone else or entertaining no they're trying to get rid of people they're like you stay away you stay away you stay away whoever it is like nobody get in my way this is this is my time from this person, whoever you're dealing with, there, I feel a good energy with this person. Like they're loyal. Um, but let's just say I feel like this person has been used with the people around them. And that's why there's a lot of heartache that they're dealing with. It's like how they were in the past. And that's why they're realizing I got to change myself. Finally, finally. Okay. Because they are a fixed sign. It's hard for them to change. But they're realizing... I need to change. And that's why they're going from like the page to the king. Or from the princess to the queen. Okay, take it how it resonates. Okay, Virgo. So this person is, um, um, what's the word for it? Um, leveling up. Yeah, they are leveling up to come back to you. For sure. And don't be discouraged if you're not getting communication. It will come in when this person, yep, they're no longer going to be closed off to this. Okay, so if they were closed off in the past, they're, this is being released is what I'm getting. This is awesome. This is really good news, Virgo. So let's pull a spirit message. Oh, wow. Okay. Time to heal old wounds. Time to let go and forgive. It's about forgiveness. Um, don't be a victim any longer. In doing so, you only hurt yourself. Forgive and set yourself free. You are eternally loved. Accept the love being offered and allow it to heal you. So I feel like some of you are going through some type of forgiveness when it has to do with this person. And that's why I feel like you pulled back your energy because you were hurt, Virgo, regardless you know, um, as strong as you are, some of you are, I feel, um, you, you are still hurt by this person, okay, and you are, now you are in, um, forgiveness mode for some of you, so regardless if you want this person or not, forgiveness, forgiveness is hard, I'm not gonna lie, okay, but it has to be done so you can be free and allow this, you know, this love to take over, 
Yeah, or, oh my God, like right when I say that, shut up, or of love, okay? So the union of light and dark of earth and sky, balancer of anima and animus, the merger of two souls. Acknowledge the masculine and feminine aspects of yourself, both yin and yang, to create a perfect balance. This is so funny that we. I was thinking of this while I was doing your reading, but I didn't say anything because I got caught up with other messages. So this has to do with your masculine and feminine energies, Virgo. Um, using them to your advantage and knowing which to use when, okay? So I feel like at this time, because you did pull your energies back, you are getting into your feminine energy, which is good. Because I feel like for some of you, you've been operating a lot with your masculine energy in this connection. And it hasn't helped you now. I mean, it's not going to help you now. So now you're moving into your more feminine energy, which is your intuition, your creativity, um, not being um, just knowing that you can create what you want. Okay. Not being so like, um, what's the word for action oriented? Yeah, I feel like you just pulled back your energy because you realized whatever you were doing, like you said what you had to say and you just pulled back your energy because and now you're focusing on yourself. Um, and you're also realizing like you've, you've given so much and now you're just like, okay, I'm going to love myself. So I feel like you both need this break if that's what is going on here. For some of you, you're not communicating with this person or you haven't seen them for a while. Um, it's, you both need this time. Okay. And it's for you to be able to be in balance. And that's why also we got the temperance card too. This is balance too. This is balance of, you know, both those energies. Um, and it's like the yin and yang, you know, the masculine, feminine, um, so what Spirit is saying is you have to embrace both of them and you have to balance them out in a sense where like you know how to act in um, certain situations to your advantage by using either fem feminine or masculine. So you'll know because if, I mean, most of us, I mean, what should I say? All of us have masculine and feminine, but some of us tend to lean more towards one than the other. But now I feel like you, when you pulled back your energy, there was like you, one, the other one took over. The less dominant one took over and that is helping you right now through this connection, okay? For some of you, you're doing aura work is what I like, is what I'm picking up on. You are clearing your aura and this also has to do with karma. For some of you, you're clearing karma from past um, lifetimes you had with this person, okay? Okay. So you're getting a lot of spiritual activity. Um, you might be meditating too or doing some type of energy work. I love it. And that is really helping you with this connection. Um, and some of you are getting, okay, some of you, you're getting telepathic communication from this person. <laughs> I love it. And you're thinking like, what is going on with me? Am I crazy? Like they're coming to you in your, in your dreams or you could be like feeling them. Um, I'm getting like you're feeling them, Virgo. Um, and it's like, what's going on? Um, yeah, this is awesome. This is very good news. This is, yeah, I, I, I feel something good coming, Virgo. This person is definitely loving, leveling up to get to you. There's no question about it. And I feel in your own right, you are also healing what you need to heal, forgive, and balance. Like, you're bringing balance into your life. And in all ways, you know, balance, mind, body, spirit, okay? And this is awesome. You're, you both are leveling up. And I think it's to prepare you to get back together. That's what I'm picking up on now. You both are leveling up in your own way to get back together, to be ready for each other this time around. I love this energy. This is a great reading. I'm so happy for you, Virgo, cross watcher. Um, if you like this video, make sure to give a, me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, 
put that um, notif subscribe and put the notification bell on so you can be notified of all videos and I will see you all um, I guess end of the month mid-month end of the month take care Virgo bye